What's up guys, Joey here for Ugatech and go to any comment section on any post about smartphones on Facebook, YouTube, tech websites and one of the most common things you're gonna see is people complaining about MediaTek. People saying Snapdragon is better, debates of Snapdragon versus MediaTek. So what is all of this about? Are these people just fanboys of Qualcomm or is there some truth to it? Is MediaTek really that bad? Well, let's talk about it. Now, I want to make this a relatively quick video so I won't get into the history of these two companies, Qualcomm and MediaTek. Instead, we're going to discuss the differences you can expect in the chips produced by these companies, Qualcomm Snapdragon and MediaTek Helio. Now, both Qualcomm and MediaTek actually don't manufacture their own products. They focus more on research and design, and neither of them actually own the designs used in the processor cores in their own chipsets. They're licensed from another company which we know as ARM. But the first and most major thing that separates Qualcomm from MediaTek is their GPU, which you know as Adreno. It's developed by Qualcomm themselves as to the Mali GPUs that MediaTek uses, which are also developed by ARM. And this is important because it's a major advantage Qualcomm Snapdragon chips have over their MediaTek counterparts. Adreno graphics simply perform better than Mali graphics. Not exactly a direct comparison between the two, but you can actually see this in the Samsung S series and Note series. The Snapdragon variants of the Galaxy S series and Galaxy Note series tend to have better graphics performance than their Exynos counterparts which also use Mali graphics. So graphics is one major difference, next we also have CPU performance. While both companies use ARM cores like I said earlier, MediaTek uses ARM architecture like the Cortex-A73 or Cortex-A76 as is. While Qualcomm likes to use these same ARM cores as the basis for the designs of their own cryo cores, which are essentially modified and improved versions with better power efficiency and performance. So how does MediaTek make up for this? So while Qualcomm uses better cores in their chipsets, MediaTek uses more of the standard cores. But this comes at a cost. The major things users have to complain about when it comes to MediaTek chipsets is that they consume more battery and produce more heat. More cores equals more battery consumption equals more heat. That's where it comes from. And then there's the software updates and developer support aspect. Phones with MediaTek chips are notorious for having updates that are late or sometimes don't even arrive at all. And since MediaTek's own source code is not public, developer support is not good as well. And Qualcomm simply suffers from neither of these problems. And aside from the ones we've mentioned already, Qualcomm chips also have a few more advantages compared to MediaTek chips. So is that it? Is MediaTek just left in the dust? Not exactly. You guys probably noticed that phones running Qualcomm Snapdragon chips come at a bit of a premium compared to phones running MediaTek Helio chips. The lower cost of MediaTek's products makes them a crowd favorite among mid-range and especially entry-level phones. Chipsets like the Helio A22 and P22 allow phones like the Realme C2, Vivo Y91, Nokia 2.2, and others to have good everyday performance, power efficiency, AI features, and more. So in conclusion, yes, there is definitely truth in the statement supporting Qualcomm and bashing MediaTek because of the reasons we just mentioned. But that isn't to say that MediaTek chips are completely trash. Because the scales are pretty much in balance because of their lower cost. So that's it for this video, guys. That's just a quick look at Qualcomm versus MediaTek. I do hope you learned something new today. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugotech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and I'll see you guys the next one.